This game uses an auto save feature. I know that. I'm just gonna do this. This is the recommended mode. I can't remember if I did. Oh, for your first play. Okay, I enjoy both. Shoot, that's music. I gotta go to settings. I cannot have music. Audio. There we go. I didn't mean to continue. Okay. Dang it. The stream is not going too well. Pretty sure you guys want to be hyped up with battles more than stories, so. <clears throat> Makes it easier. I might do like an hour of gameplay for each. So, so. Yeah. Okay, I've got to get the the other add-ons for this. Text size, fuck that. We're just gonna continue. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. <laughs> A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. <laughs> Turn on. <sighs> Hundreds oh, of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Okay, average body strength. No signs of muscular atrophy. We'll do very Splendid. good for each. Oh, okay. Ooh, they must have been feeding you Spacer's choice rations. Good for strength, intelligence. Temperament, temperament. Two health regeneration per second. Positive faction reputation. Okay, hex. Oh yeah, I'm doing one of those. Um, three more. Temperament. I do need more health regeneration. Perception bonus of extra headshot and weak spot damage. Yes, I'm doing two of those. This slippery fingers. You'll need to be careful handling those chemicals. <clears throat> One hand melee. Skill. Let's go. Let's see. Okay, um... So 
I can put two points on two. So we need you one. You certainly pick. know your way around a mag pick. Hack lock pick. Um. And ah, hack. a fellow tinkerer. I think. Maybe defense. Range. Okay, range skills improve your weapon weapon sway. And critical hit chance with ranged weapons. Each point in range significantly increases handguns, long guns, and heavy guns, heavy weapons skills up to 50 points each. After 50, you can specialize by adding points directly to the handguns, long guns, and heavy guns, heavy weapons. Why do they have to add weapons? Are they really trying to confuse my mind that much? Did I get confused way too easily? Someone with a talent for exploiting insecurities. Forget that. Oh, I love a good lie. I'd say your aptitude is being incredibly lucky. Determination. Block. Persuade. Shock damage received minus three. Okay, what else? In raid damage received minus three percent. I wonder what experiments you were subjected to. Uh, we're gonna do mail and face. Uh, maybe that one, but. So I had 13 and 12. Okay, so... Uh, it looks like 13 or 12. Which one should I do? 13 kind of looks nice, but also 12 does. I figured I'll come back. Oh, that's eye color. Uh, come on, where's a good color? Red. What is this? Ooh, these look nice. Mm. Yellow. No, not pink. Purple. I think that's what that is. I forgot to glow and eyes. Purple. Uh, let's see. Okay, there we go. Um, let's see. We're gonna go. Oh shoot, I missed that up. Uh, we're just gonna go back to that. I saw it. Let's see. What that middle? Nose. <laughs> That's a perfect size. Nose tilt. I like how I'm literally gonna prop betray him later on. <laughs> Makeup. Dang. What is my character's age right now? Okay, there we go. Next. I'm just gonna put my name. Okay, here we go. Wait. What should I put? I'm just gonna put YouTube next. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> there we go. Nice name. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> now that's perfect. I love it. Here we go. 
this is me. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. <laughs> really? Just steal a clone. Make a copy machine. Please power down your engines and prepare to be bootlickers. Not likely, bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. Ah, oh, that's what you get for kidnapping. They jumped. They light jumped or whatever you call it. Terra Blue. Status. Structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down 25%. Skip <sighs> drive. Shit. Yeah, that's right. That's what you get. Oh, hey, I think I'm out of the pod. Oh, he's ah, working. Right? There you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speed. Thank you. This means that you and every other colonist on Alp have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, reviving someone after so long leads to some quite jump. horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, really? I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but really? the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to oh, hire man, a smuggler to help you get. out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! <laughs> He's screwing up right in front of me. In front of... One person. Technically two, if you count me. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yeah. yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. <clears throat> You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, Why is he not all talking? the con. Uh. Is it the audio? Are counting on you. Wait, no, I don't want to skip. This. Hawthorne like... should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and... Oh. Move away, so, not stand there holding it. Music? Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Okay. Oh, oops. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Yep. I know how to sprint. Play games. Play Fallout and stuff and plus hard to play this game. But I've been... 
completely finished. Why do I keep doing that? Right? Oh, that's... You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Yeah. Hey, you, come here. Really? Mm -hmm. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that's really? things. <laughs> Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired, right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. What is what's this about marauders? Gibbering, flesh eating, law breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah. I've got a better idea. Give me your gun. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. <laughs> you tell me where you I am. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Okay. You know, do you know anything about the Hope? The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. I'm off. Do I take anything? Anything else to take? <laughs> what am I doing wrong? RB. Right button, okay. Oh, wait, okay. Due to complications steaming from being arrived after an extended hibernation, your brain processed time differently. <clears throat> Pressing the tactical time dilation. TTD. Buttons. S button slows down the world. Give you time to think as well. As take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still. Drain your TTD meter very slowly. While moving attacks drains it fast. Moving and attacking attacks drain it faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. RB tactical time 
dilation. Oh, 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 bro. Watch where you're swinging that thing around. Whoa. Hacking and pick locks. Your hacking and pick lock skills help you get into places you've not meant meant to be. Mag picks are used to break open locks. Bypass shunts are used to break computer encryption. So, shoot. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many mag locks or shunts you need and how long it will take raising your skill will lower than uh, the number of items it used and speed up the process oh okay let's make sure we got all the loot yes we did okay let's run Wait. Okay, here we go. T and L weapons safety training. Okay, weapon management. You can help. You can have up to four weapons equipped at, at a time. By navigating to the weapon, the then selecting the weapon slot at the top of the screen on this page. You can also inspect your weapon. Compare them, flag them as junk, or break them down for parts. Players will then, will with, players with the engineering skill can repair weapons on this screen as well. Take care of your TNO weapons. They'll take care of your enemies. You got it. Not a I figure out a swap real quick because I forgot how to swap. I'm not meaning to heal. Oh, it's Y to swap. Okay. Get over here. <laughs> Take all of that and give me everything you got. Okay, well, let's see. Okay. Um. Okay. Hmm. Hey. Save game. No, it's sinking again. gonna start sinking again a lot oh, this is super annoying am I gonna have to pull the freaking hard drive out and plug it back in oh good there we go <laughs> uh, let's see 
Okay. Oh, wait, no way. Okay, there we go. New save. Get over here okay. before you get yourself killed. Okay, fine. I don't you know where walked. you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Gall on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Just a landing violation. Let it go. Alright, so I heard I found one of your teammates. Hold up in the camp. I've already dealt with a few of the of these marauders. You pulling my limb? I, I mean, yeah, of course. Marauders. Bunch of addle brain derelicts. I could round them up all by myself. I just, <laughs> you know, need a couple of really? winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. <laughs> really? Two spaces choice guards back down from a challenge. Live, live, yada, yada. <clears throat> Intimidate five guests. I'll have to give you a zero on customer satisfaction. First way five. Do Stasis Choice guards back down from a challenge? Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost benefit analysis. Mm. But, Dang. seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. Now I'm gonna save it. <clears throat> Just in case. Go. How am I missing a lot of my shot? Holy moly. I'll freak this. Just gonna go around taking everything. I want that armor. This is gonna take a lot of paperwork. Okay. <clears throat> Save it, because I know she's about to get mad at me when I get in there. Here we go. Please be informed that this okay. vessel contains no valuable plunder. Marauder. Please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Really? Hello, Marauder. Oh. I am Ada, Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Really? What do you want to do? Self-destruct? Jefferson procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in five, four, three, really? two, one. A bag. If you are still here, my deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express <laughs> disappointment. I need to get the ship I am ship capable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Really? <laughs> Hawthorne was supposed to meet me I deduce there, right? from the tone of your voice that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. Lie one. Marauders I killed him. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders oh. exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. 
If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? I get it. You need me to be Captain Hawthorne, or you can't fly. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of really? deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Really? Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main oh, sure, didn't mean to do that. Okay, Engineer Five. I doubt I'll find a part like that just sitting Astutely in the garbage. Observed. However. The probability of locating a power a regulator garbage. within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity really? cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. Really? This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? Yeah, Ada. I get it. I got Best it. of luck in your search for a power <laughs> regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Mm. I was reborn. Okay, anti Cleo management. Training. Skill improvements. Every time you level up, you earn skill point to spend on improving your skills spending a skill point on a core skill melee improves all the specialized skills and they grow up to a maximum of 50. after 50 you can add points directly to specialized skills up to 100. every skill Improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Read each skill description to see what they are. The armor, consumables, and status effects can temporarily raise and lower your skills. This helps or hurts skill checks. And the skills positive bonuses but won't give or take work or won't give or take away the skill unlocks work but oh, there we go work diligently improve yourself and you can achieve middle management well then, you've been promoted level up congrats you can you have gained enough experience to go up a level on your character ledger to advance character leveling up increases your health points gives you bonus or gives you points to upgrade your skills as well as give you access to a new perk every other level keep leveling and you'll be upper management material in no time Okay, let's see. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay. Anti Anti Cleo specialized management seminars. Select thing perks. Welcome to a perk selection on this screen. You can choose which perks to buy with your perk points. You can Okay, you get a new perk point to spend every two level ups. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as buying a flaw, occurring five new perks, makes the new tier of perks available to you. Auntie wants you to be your best to help her. Be the very best. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay. Well, I have to.
Okay, dang it, not what I meant to do. Okay, we'll just do five. Uh, two there. And apply. <clears throat> you will not be able to under per point allocate allocations after confirming. Do you want to con continue? Combat dialogue abilities. You've unlocked a dialogue combat skill. When attacking the correct type of target, they are automatically debilitated. Dang, that's a long word. But oh well. So the world. Tactical time dilation lasts longer. Surely this is normal. Time slowing down is not normal at all. Stranger in a strange land. Criminal activities, trespassing, lockpicking, Hacking and murder are all considered illegal activities and are frowned, frowned upon by society. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in those activities without consequences. <gasps> okay, yes. I need that, except I gotta... There we go. I kind of want to... Damn it, I didn't mean to do that. If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, okay. the Crux 2000 workbench is at... No. Nah. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. t and Equipment Maintenance Guide Lines. I don't repair. Keep your company gear in tip-top shape is expected. And something you're carrying needs... Rep and something you need, something you're carrying needs repaired. You can repair weapons and armor at a workbench using weapon and armor parts. Get them from breaking down unwanted items. Players are, or players with engineering skill can repair their gear without need of a workbench. Repairing an item returns it to 100% durability and full effectiveness ready to cause or prevent maximum damage keep your office equipment in tip-top shape for superior company efficiency damage per second i think that's what that is tps or dps Your disposal, Captain. Okay. Let's see what I can do with this. Oh god. <gasps> Break! I needed to read that. Uh, oh well. I guess. These surveillance devices allow me okay. to monitor you constantly. Really? Please ignore them. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. Really? Really? Okay, really? oh, dang, I can't just jump off the balcony. But Ada, what if I want to jump off the balcony? Well, she's about to yell at me. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your really? ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And really? if this ship is yours, well, mister... You owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we got a duck. Freak. A ding controller. 
unplugged from the power bank. Your pay. Resume. Here we go. Oh my gosh, but I want that armor. You got it all wrong. I'm a starship safety inspector. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me. I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. <laughs> Take care. Okay. That was funny. Wait, can I use... a mouse and keyboard? I know a mouse keyboard, I just have to save button. Ah, dang, this gun's a lot more easier. Oh no, I don't know, I think so. Let's go. <laughs> I can use the switching to my advantage. <gasps> they killed residents. They can't vandalize. Or I'll vandalize them. With a gun. Shoved up there, you know what. And pull the trigger. They'll be crying for help for days. Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? Don't that go was... ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Okay. Really? <laughs> really? Okay. I was in Ghana. Damn. Ain't safe out here. You'd it's best head into thing. town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Okay, really. I never got your name. <laughs> I swear, don't really never introduce your name like this. But <clears throat> yeah, for that. Make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name Silas. Junior in humor for really? the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Who do I talk to about the power regulator? Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business yeah. inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? <laughs> Freelancer? Depends on the work. You offer me a job? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. <laughs> paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a might delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Yeah. I see. Want me to collect what's owed to you? I can do Four that. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Why is Abernathy so s a special case? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Really, the Fallout 4 Abernathy's farm, really? <laughs> Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. 
He's over by the landing pad. Wait, what? How many? 66 minutes? There was something else I wanted to ask you. Yeah? Ugh. Town must be in pretty bad shape. If it's keeping you, you employed. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. You're not worried about falling sick? Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. How long have you been a junior inhumor? Grave digger, whatever. Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one. Uh, all my life? Work's been real good to me. Fresh air, what? exercise. <laughs> Only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. How are people supposed to pay for their fees when they're dead? You lose a lot of people to marauders. Former people, yeah. Marauders been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. Dang. Yeah. Why are they after? What are they? What are they after? Loot? Oh no, they are after the most precious loot of all, Spacer's Choice Company property. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, company's gonna duck my pay. Oh dang! Thanks for your time. Okay, well here we go. Hmm, should I wait? Might as well continue this first. Might as well finish these two and then exit. We'll go back to the ship like it's nothing. Oh yeah, Edgewater is Wait, can I? A small grave matters. Oh gosh, they're outside, really. really? Please don't <laughs> touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next really? to lawfulness. Really? Relax and clean. I can show you my hands. No, thank you. That's quite all right. I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. I'm Conrad. You will report to me what? if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon, I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Uh, I'm looking to repair my ship. A ship? Dear me. You seem to have lost the ability to distinguish between reality and fantasy. This is what happens when you let your imagination run wild. I don't approve of fantasizing. It's a dreadful habit, corrosive to the mental faculties. You really? ought to let the vicar take a look inside your head. Your vicar. Vicar Maximilian, our man from the OSI, here to spread the message of scientism like a soothing balm upon a feverish head. Or so you'd expect. You'll find him in our local church, probably neglecting his duties. <laughs> Silas sent me to collect your news. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. 
You mean you're broke? As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. I don't care. Pay up. With what? My own blood? Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Hang on, medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. <laughs> By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. <laughs> Give Salas an IOU. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky Wait. clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Really? <laughs> I'll let you know if I think of anything. Much obliged. But I have to look through your place. Ball, Thomas B. What can I do for you? Medical 15. You sound like you have some training. I know a thing or two about... Two about medical? Oh? About medicine? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Only if... If we use the term doctor loosely. I am a Spacer's Choice Certified Surgeon, and if you must know, I can stitch a severed thumb with a 58% chance of avoiding gangrene. Okay, I've got some Go questions ahead. for you. Oh, fake that. Okay. Why in the heck? Alright. I'll have to look through here. Okay, letter from Phyllis. Conrad. At reception. I'll fix that. I'll come back and read that later. Okay. What about here? What can I do for you? Anything yet? I know about Eugene. Why not use his teeth? As collateral for your grace. You know about Eugene? How? I don't know ben, if you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental <laughs> hygiene. He took them to his grave. Really? I'm sure he won't miss them. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? You're going to have to. Yes, I suppose I must. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Goodbye. Okay, here we go. Yes, Mr. Okay. Thompson. Here we go. Whoa, uh, did, okay. uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Really? Mm. Take it easy, Mr. Thompson. Mr. Take it easy. Mr. Thompson didn't say. Well, what are you doing here? Visiting? 
Well, let me give you the grand tour. This here is my domicile, <laughs> and there's the door. Really? So you're Martin Abernathy? What? No. I mean, uh, I might be. That depends on who's asking. Not looking for trouble. I'm just here to collect your gravesite fees. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Mm. You told me everything. How long did you think you could keep a secret like that? Sounds like he's already told you. You may as well hear it from me. Mm. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. Really? And soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. <clears throat> it's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. <clears throat> I'm sorry to hear that, but uh, I'm sure it's very tragic and heartbreaking. Pay me so I can get out of here. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas, but if you could see a way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. Really? There's How can a I cache help? of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. Okay. I need really? you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. What? Not so fast. I'll do what I can. Why can't you just buy some medicine yourself? I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Anyway, I can't just <clears throat> buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Really? Company policy. Really? In other words, the company won't treat you... Because you're already sick. More like the company won't treat me because I'm not healthy enough. Really? <laughs> I assume there are You guards. will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. What can you tell me about these marauders? I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. I advise stepping softly. Really? I've heard so enough. you'll do it then? You oblige I'll me with it. your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, law, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Anything I should know about this community Just center? Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken over. Probably tracking mud all over the archives. You're taking an awful risk trusting me. Yeah, no. I know that, but I got nobody else to turn to. Mm. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. Okay, I'll leave you. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. What? Excuse me, I'm Esther Blaine. Spacer's Choice Actuary. Really? I overheard your really? talk with Abernathy. <laughs> I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. Really? You're better off <laughs> selling it to me instead. You have symptoms of something. You're saying it's psychosomatic? All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh, he's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. What do you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Let me worry about that. All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. Abernathy, pay, Abernathy's paying me for my trouble. Can you match his I'm offer? I'm paid better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. 
I'll think That's about all it. I can ask of you. Okay. Hmm. Wait. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Here we go up. Really? Oh, come on. There we go. I'm not stuck anymore. Okay. You the new worker? Mm. Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. I'm guessing you're the foreman. Foreman Granger, mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. These papers aren't signed in your name. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. That's kind of you, I, I guess. I could do without the sarcasm. Wasn't acting out of the goodness of my heart. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. Hmm. Said this guy shot himself? Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. That's an awful thing to Not say. Not half as awful as the bill Eugene left us with. <laughs> Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. What? It can't I'm be serious. serious. In fact, I'm a little upset Eugene didn't think things through. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. He was a person, not an asset. Well, excuse you. I'll have you know, Eugene was an asset to us all. May his atoms be commended to the law. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. I'll get back to get back, get back to work. Okay. Okay, now to go too long tomorrow. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Now to go all the way over here. Here we go. Finally. Only nine, and it's been an hour. Okay. Okay. Oh, yikes. There's enemies here. Okay, let's go. Okay. Oh wait, I think I got all the loot, didn't I? No, I did not. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's go.
Really? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay, you really want to play that game? Fine, let's tango with your life. You can run, but you can't hide. Alright, really? <clears throat> That's a weird cash register. Okay, well. Okay. Really. Come out and play. Shoot! Don't let me die. Dang, that actually killed them all. Oh dang, just ran out though. Okay, let's go. Okay. Ooh, this was fun. I love this. I might have to save some of these assault rifles. So I can repair mine. There we go. Okay. Well, I think that was all. Was it? Okay, time to get in here. Yeah, you know what? I'll finish all the missions here, and then when I have to go back to the ship. Oh shoot. Not good. Okay, dang it. Okay, maybe I might have a better way, but I don't know for sure. I'm gonna have to have a companion for this. Okay, what type of weapons do I got? Okay, anything that does more than. 180 damage? Okay, let's go. So we got 215 damage. 20. Oh, never mind. That's 28. Oh, good. 8 times 3? Or times 12? Okay, I might have to switch out this. Uh, let's see, unequipped. What, I can't unequip that? Are you kidding me?
Okay, let's get this. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna try this again. If I die again, I'm gonna have to come back. It's just that there's too many. I can't shoot them all. Okay, maybe I should let them go through the door. Don't you dare open this door. Don't you dare come through this door. I'm gonna have to wait. Yeah, I'll come back. With more haps. Let's see, okay. So instead of coming here, we're gonna go do main quest, which is strange and a sh You don't forget, okay, we'll come back to this, cause one hour and thirty minutes is kind of gameplay. But I'm gonna re-open this stream again though. Okay, so... See it again when I reopen this. This be episode two. Because I'll be uploading this as episode two. Or episode, or up, episode one. But I will be stopping the stream and reopening it. See you next time. Hope you like and subscribe.